So we just played Overrun. Yep. Uh, we played a bunch yesterday, and uh, we didn't do too great against Epic most of the time. The GI guys went up against you, because it uh, turns out you guys have played a lot more than us. We won two matches so far? I think we did, and we played a lot of matches. Two we and played a half. For, we played for hours <laughs> yesterday. So you just watched us, and yesterday you were kind of coaching us through things and teaching us different tactics. Yeah. And then today, you know, we specifically asked you to be just kind of quiet, and then you could critique us at this kind of post-match uh, debriefing. So, how do we do? Well, I'll, I'll be honest, you guys did a really good job. Uh, I, I'd like to pat myself on the back for the coaching I gave you guys in that. No need you're, all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see Tim, Tim hooks me up. The advanced techniques you guys are already displaying I thought was really good. Using uh, your Grenadier ticker gameplay of Tim, you being the Grenadier and kicking Dan, the ticker up into the, the perch areas with the, where the scout, only the wretch can go, and you can get a ticker up there and feeding him a grenade. And, and you actually were able to get behind enemy lines. I dashed to the eagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You made it straight towards the... Right. Right. I just beelined and then detonated and it blew up twice and did like, what, 20% damage or something right. like that? Yeah. yeah, and then it exploded again and, and dished more damage to the to the e-hole. And what was so great about that is that the cog are focused on the front lines and you went right... I was watching, you went right behind their backs and went went through there and blew it up, so... Well, and he helped good. as a grenadier because he threw a grenade to kind of scatter everyone and they didn't notice me because they were trying to get away from the grenade. So. A good technique maybe for that moving forward would be like the, uh, the the biggest gap in that strategy I could see is if there was a turret up, because the turret would probably... It would just immediately... It would just smoked just, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that could... Uh, the turrets are definitely the bane to, to tickers, but one thing I will add that... So he so Tim fed you the grenade. Right. And he, it's pretty easy with the clock to be ticking down to think, hey, we got to go, we got to go, but... Patience was pretty much the key, I thought, for you guys. I said, hey, hold up, Dan. My grenade's going to be coming back in a few seconds. Yep, yep. Let me throw the grenade out there and scatter the guys. And that was the real uh, key there, I thought, is, is displaying that type of patience. So, obviously, you've seen a ton of multiplayer. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the more interesting strategies you've seen? We already talked about some of the more advanced ones, like kicking a ticker up, yep. beating a ticker grenade. Yeah. What are some uh, some things maybe you didn't even plan on and you've seen QA testers do? So, to be clear, obviously, at the beginning of the rush, the tickers are really valuable. And so we, we tend to think that only going tickers is the best opening move. And that's that is true to a point where it is really valuable, but I've also found that you can get some sort of variety there, especially with a wretch. So the wretch can cringe Enemy, enemy players, right? And so if you actually time it, is instead of the tickers beating all the other Locust players there, if you slow down a little bit and let a wretch get there and let him jump over the fortification, mm -hmm. he could cringe cogs so they can't throw grenades at you, they can't, they can't shoot at you, and then the tickers can come in and eat the fortifications. And the other one that I've seen is actually, um, you can actually create really good diversions with, hey, this whole group goes over there, they start eating, and the fortifications, and then if you have one ticker, hold up and wait until they see they're attacking, and then you can start attacking your fortifications. Because COGS, they have the little meters on their screen pop up, and hey, they're going right, they're going left. Mm -hmm. So if they see the left is being attacked, then they'll put their effort on the left, and then that's when you can sneak in on the right side. Okay, some more diversions. Or even yeah, get like exactly. a wretch up the other side, maybe? Yeah, yeah, no, exactly right. So where did we, uh, what kind of weaknesses did we have? Well, for Locust, I'm not going to say you really had that much weaknesses. You guys did a pretty good job going, going pretty fast, but displaying patience, using your abilities, uh, spending your points earned at the right time to get the mauler. You had the double mauler combo going on, which was really devastating. But for the COG, what I, what I did notice is with Overrun, we had the abilities come back pretty quickly. Uh, you know, 6 seconds, 8 seconds, 10 seconds, at the max 12 seconds. And so, Tim, you were the medic. and. I think you were the engineer, right, Dan? I was engineer part? and scout, mostly. You really need to use those abilities as much as, as possible. So like the stim gas mm -hmm. as the medic, uh, I saw a couple times where you had it pocketed and one of your teammates died and they needed to be revived and then you died a few seconds later. But if you were always thinking, hey, I need to be throwing that all the time. Yeah. yeah. And that's one of our goals for Overrun is why the cooldown comes back so quickly is to get you to be using. We want people using those abilities a lot. And this COG is really key. So overall, uh, you know, 10 being professional level, uh, zero being, you know, just first time playing, have no idea what we're doing. Where do we stand there? Uh, professional level? Th in this match, <laughs> zero to 10. <laughs> zero to 10, I'd give you guys a negative three. No, I'm just kidding. That's fair. No, no, you guys did a really good job. Like I said, <laughs> uh, I think it was a testament to all the, the hard work that the people here put into the game as it's really deep. But in the, the short amount of time you guys have played, you, you picked it up pretty quickly, and I didn't really need to say much. And I was really impressed, to be quite honest, with how well you picked it up, the, the advanced techniques you're doing, being able to boot a ticker up into an area you usually can't do, feeding him grenades, and so no. So in honesty, I would give you guys a seven. 
Okay. I'll Thanks. take that. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Just out of two days, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, two days. Thanks for the help. <laughs> that's right, no problem. Anytime, guys.